Hello everybody, Refresh1 here again, playing some more Terra Tech, and this time we're in version 7, or, <laughs> wow, yeah, it's been a night, it's Canada's Day, give me, you know, give me a little slack, you know, it's been a night, <laughs> so anyway, we're in 0 0.7.5.2, the newest unstable build of Terra Tech in the R&D, and we're checking out some of the new stuff, because there is some new stuff, like if you can see back there, even the stunt course is moved and ultimately you can tell in the back row there that there's more than just one set I'm not sure what really how that's supposed to be intended to be used but I'm thinking if you can tie them all together that's pretty freaking sweet but you know before we get too far into any of this you know you know I got to do it I got to I do want to welcome you to the show to the episode to my channel if you're first timer if you're a repeat viewer awesome i that is super awesome i do appreciate it you know it's it's very helpful the likes the comments the suggestions the the subscriptions the dinging of the bell all that stuff you know it helps fuel the motivational tank we'll say so but what i wanted to do while i'm in here is I wanted to take a moment just to take in and appreciate the new stuff they have added to this update. So what I want to do first is I want to start with something like yay. And then, you know, I'm not a real, real big waster. Oh, I crap, I let it out. That ain't good. No. Oh, ha, ha. You didn't see that. No. You did Oh, what am I doing? Here we have. I'm thinking of a different game. I've been playing different games. Holy crap, it's been messing with me. <laughs> I gotta get things figured out. So we'll do that. Oh, that's the wrong button. See what I'm telling you? Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. But yeah, these are the new treasure blocks. Bam! Look at that thing, eh? And what you can do is we'll go into this. And we're just going to make something small. Don't want to get too crazy. Oh, easy, easy. It's getting a little touchy on me. Oh, miss that one. Miss that one. Like I said, it's been a night. <laughs> okay, well, now here's where a little bit of the cool comes in, right? So, we got us now a Hawkeye Terminal. Look at that, eh? That is pretty sweet. Let's see what we get. And I like it too. It brings us right to Hawkeye. Hey, but it's only Hawkeye. What's up with that? I don't know if I care for that too much. The other terminals bring us up everything. Is that something they're going to go to? I don't know. We're gonna have maybe, you know, hey, put her two cents in, keep an eye on that. You want fair competitive marketing across the board, I thought. But yeah, other than that, you know, we, oh, yeah, let's get that. Okay, now we need a scrapper. So let's put a scrapper on this puppy. Let's put it the right way, hopefully. What? Oh, wrong button. My bad. The fingers did the walking, and wow, did they talk wrong. You're talking in Braille to someone who doesn't understand it. Come on, you can do it. I know. Oh, I think I missed it. There it is. Yeah, it's in the middle. That's one good thing to remember, too. Like, the different scrappers and fabricators, they have different spots where they throw, this, throw stuff. I'm going to do a Rhodius. Bam! Eat that sucker. Okay, now the whole point of this is, is I'm actually going to try and, yeah, there we go, feed it backwards so it doesn't get anything more out. And what I'm going to do, I know it seems weird, right? Yeah, hey, I hear you. I do. Frickin' nutty. What we're going to do is we're going to throw that on there. So... 
check this out. Let's just see how many one of those gets us. See, that's the thing. Each core, I, I believe, gives you a different amount. So I want to go to, yep, Scrapper. I'm going to put it right about there. And you know, oh no, not a Rhodius. Don't want a Rhodius. Let's do a, a Titania. Titania. That's what we're after. So we're going to put one of them in there. Come on, eat it. <clears throat> what are you doing? How is there something in there already? Frickin' wood. Take a walk, eh? Eh? Okay, I'm gonna stop pulling blocks out of there, or resources out of there, though. So, right there, that's pretty sweet, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, here, check this out. Okay, what I want to do is I want to go into the experimental. Oh, pacemaker! It's not that we're old people, but check this out. I'm not sure if the arrow super means anything right now, but here, let's do that. Oh, uh, -huh. and here we got slow motion. Blue. It kind of slows everything down. Here we got normal speed. Do 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 do. Works along nicely, and we got turbo. Well, look at it go! Look at it go! Can't wrong with that, eh? <laughs> but now here's the deal it works per tech you know what I'm saying so if you got one tech no matter the size of it it seems to want to affect the entire thing so no matter if the conveyor chains are broken up it's gonna want to do that speed up on all of them I did a whole long thing there earlier trying to figure it out I was going to share it, it really wasn't that great. So this here is like the condensed version. If you know who I am, you know I've been playing the game for a while, you'll take my word for it. Hopefully the devs are watching. And we'll get that, you know, maybe per line. Because ultimately if there is a break in the conveyor line, it would be nice to have independent control of that line. So I could have like a super long line, like say from this scrapper to this silo, but say it's like 64 long, like the whole build limit. I just got this squeezed in there. <laughs> then I would hope that that one could be super fast while maybe my, uh... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Like I said, it's been a night, right? <laughs> but like the, uh, say the charging part of that base. So, like, if I was to go over to, like, here, and then here, and go, dit, dit, oh, no, hey, that ain't gonna work. Oh, what am I doing? Eh, that ain't gonna work. We need a silo, or a filter. Wow, I'm so off. Like I said, it's a night. <laughs> but then, yeah, we go, oop, wow. Yeah, fingers are doing walking, and I ain't trying to do that talking. So, then we go like that. And then, hey, right on, we got fuel there, too. So let's just kick that off, and we'll go to this, and we'll that, and we'll filter, or, filter fuel only, please. And, uh, yeah, we'll go to power. Let's say this one, because it's a good one. And you know what? Ultimately, I do want to go with one of these, because I have been getting a lot more XP blocks, or EXP, in the campaign. So, you know, I want to get used to using them. Because that's just a good frickin' idea. You know what I'm trying? Because these should be the better producers of, of the power. Okay, so now we got our speed block. We got our... We're screwed right off the hop, aren't we? It just wants to feed to there. So. Did this half-ass backwards, didn't I? Ain't that some shit? What we can do is see. There's the th there's the thing about it. it's been a day, <laughs> and then we'll put this back to fuel. Hopefully, you can see the humor in it, honestly, because woo, 
<laughs> I tells you. I'd be a proud citizen of my country, and you know, we're kind of known for our enjoyment of the beverages. So we're going to do that, and we already got fuel on the line. The one thing I wish we did have is if I put a filter down, and I go bam, I turn it the way I like, I go like that. But see over here, there's no non-fuel chunks only. I think that would be something that would be super freaking helpful. Because other than that, you end up wasting a ton of stuff. So I can go unrefined or refined, but all I got is refined, so I'm doing refined. And what I want that one to be for is I'm just going to, bam, I'm going to sell that crud off. Because I am going to get this crud figured out, right? So what I want to do now is I'm going to get rid of that because I got these blocks over here. I'm going to put that one on there. Don't turn that around a little bit at least. Jeez, let's not get stupid with it. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right, there we are. So right from there, we can do that. So from that, I think I'm going to put one of these on. Yeah. And I need a venture. Oh, why can't I see it? Oh, yeah, download. Scrappa. That's different. Okay, so we'll like that. That was a bad move too, wasn't it? So, I will from there go, uh, huh? Oh, no, that didn't help me. And then from here, I'm going to put one of them down. We'll watch that one. That's going to be a good one, right? But while I'm waiting for that, you know, another thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go through a little bit of this. I'm going to put a couple of them on. Just a few, oops few batteries and see the fuel oh I got that going the wrong way there that'll be better and look how fast that goes chunk 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 pretty sweet eh okay well now here's another thing eh oh Hawkeye Havoc shield right on our voices have been heard we got us a Hawkeye shield look at that eh bam I'm liking it I like the different design of it. It's pretty damn sweet, I believe. And then you mix out with their, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay, here's a suggestion. Never thought of it until just now. The, the regen bubble should be the same rough size and shape as the shield. Okay, I'm hoping everyone agrees because it just kind of makes sense. The GSO one are a similar size, I believe. I haven't honestly took notice of it in a long time, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Okay, so we get that. Okay, now we got a couple blocks over or chunks over here. So we'll go, uh, -huh. and hey, hey, yeah, it's not just the terminal payload terminal we got new. We got one of these, but here's the thing: it's just a collector. So, how many chunks do we really get? So, um, oh, wrong button. Yeah, the wrong buttonitis has hit me today for some reason. I'm going to put one of them in there. And I'm going to, no, I don't want to scrap that. It'll give me a bunch of components and such. Scrap a couple of them. I think that should work. I hope it'll work. If not, wow, I'd be surprised. There. Alright, so now we'll just take that off. Oh, you get four with that one. So I guess that ain't too, too bad. But yeah, here's hoping that the regen bubble for Hawkeye gets a little buff. Maybe made like the shield. So that could be cool. I'd actually really like to see a shield and regen combination that form fits. Ah, there's a good term, I think, for that. This is... Uh, suggestion around the tech but it's just like two or three blocks bigger all the way around of the tech 
So any explosive damage should be warded off, but you need enough power, you need enough of the, let's say modules. I've been playing some other games and they use modules, and it makes sense after you get into it that would multiply or, you know, that'd be like a super advanced shielding and regen kind of idea, maybe, but still could be cool. So from there, I think that's about most of the awesome that they threw at the R&D. I'm not really going to play over there in that section just because it's just multiples of what was there and it seems to have maybe disappeared so yeah I'm not gonna really get into that but another thing that's happened is uh, yeah you don't see any of those treads in there right cuz they're being upgraded yeah they made it to the geo we knew they were going there but yeah it's nice that they've got them figured out in such time and in such a timely fashion that it's now official that's where they're going. So here, we can just kind of skim through the blocks. It doesn't look like, you know, the treasure blocks have been all, and they're all different between cores too. The Geo core should and does obviously give you the most. And then I think it goes Hawkeye, then GSO, and then Venture for the least giving of all of them. Here, let's just try one just uh, for the giggles, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes there's some other stuff before that. Like, see there, you get that. That's not too shabbity. And then we'll go to a blue for that one. And then let's go to Hawkeye. We'll go green. We'll put that one there. I think it'll get it. Yep. So, see, GSO, it pumps out pretty good chunks. Let's Hawkeye. It should be a little better. Hell yeah, look at that, eh? Wow, there's a lot of them. 64. That's what we're going to get out of that. Oh, we don't have enough room. So, yeah, so these are going to be pretty handy, I think. But there has been a suggestion about, you know, there should be unrefined versions of each said treasure block. Which I do agree with. But I think it should be an option where the player has that many unrefined or that many refined as to what block they create for the treasure block. Because, you know, some recipes through the crafting system need unrefined. And honestly, it might be just nicer to have that. Not be forced into having to refine them first would save you time and ultimately in a pinch you'd be able to like stock up on whatever you've just tried harvesting and if someone attacks and you want to scoot out of there well you can you just pick them up and run you know you can maybe even have time to craft them into those treasure blocks and such where the refining step would take that extra bit that this might cost you but I don't know but as far as this update goes, I think this is about as much as can truly be shown in the R&D. I think most of the other changes, such as the Venture uh, stunt missions being added to uh, the campaign. And I'm hearing that there's even a brand new set of blocks for them. So you can maybe even possibly use those track blocks, the stunt building course building blocks might be able to get them as part of our block inventory so that's pretty damn sweet and then to boot there's a new biome and it's an ice biome so it's going to be slippery and wild you know what i'm saying it should be pretty fun so i'm going to go and make myself a valiant attempt at a brand new playthrough and I'm going to see about getting into some of that coolness and I'm going to condense it a wee bit the last one dry, I drew it out just because of the challenge idea of it, you know, I wanted to do that hopefully properly. I hope I did so. So this one, I'm going to condense it up. Not like the last one either, or it was only one video. <laughs> It'll be a three or four video, hopefully. 
But anyway, it'll be a good one. I'm hoping. A lot of awesome battling. And some building. Because I got some ideas. And I'm hoping to hit them up. But I think I'm going to call this one out about an end rate about in here. This new update's got me excited. I want to jump on into it. Get into some playing. And do all that. And get after it. It does take some time, you know. So, until you know, as always, right around here, you know, I tend to want to thank you once more. Oh, you know, another thing I never even thought of. Oh, sorry, guys. I can't even, I can't forget this one because this has been a big one. It used to be available. It went away for a long, long time. I'm just going to do some crap here. Right, I'm gonna, oh, I'm not on that one. Okay, we're going to do this. Uh, B. Yeah, buddy. Now check this out. Go unanchor. Oh, I fell over. Anchor. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice, eh? You can do it on the fly, but honestly, I don't think that's really good. <laughs> I think there should be a time delay in between anchorings and re-anchorings, so it can't be uh, exploited in battle. We'll say. I don't know. Give me your thoughts on the matter, kind of thing. Hit me up in the comments. You know, and if you did enjoy it, throw a like at me. That big blue thumb. You get a couple of them at once. You know, it's like the Matrix stuff on my end. It's like dodging them. It's like, yeah. I don't dodge them. I catch them. And then it's like, cool. You know, because it does motivate me. You know, it tells me I'm doing something that people are enjoying. It does help. Along with all your feedbacks, your comments, your suggestions, all that stuff. That, that You know, that's the kind of awesome, really. I know you might be getting tired of it. But that is the kind of awesome only you guys can be bringing. This little channel can use every little bit of it, and I do appreciate it, and I will never stop thanking you. But other than that, you know, I would like to mention once more, the Saturday Showcase. They got components, you know, where all your cool and original text could have a video made up just for their own and be shown off so, you know, you can help share ideas, inspire others. Hopefully have a ton of pro uh, fun in the process. It's pretty dang sweet, I think. Well, so far it's inspired me in a few builds. And other than that, you know, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to ask you if you have the couple extra bucks to maybe think about donating a few of them just to this little channel. You know, it would help kind of maintain and do everything I got. It ain't much, but I'm trying to hold on. And also by doing so, you know, your name would get thrown into the draw for a $40, or it's valued at 40 bucks right now, but it's a 3D printed model of any tech within that price range that you can create in the game, or I got five pre-made ones, I think it was five, one for each core and then an XP one, I think, an EXP one, I think it was. Already pre-made, you can pick one of those, or you can build your own within the price range of said draw and the nice thing about them is the more support that comes in the more that can be valued at so I think about that's about all that needs to be said because all the info can be found down in the description on the important cool little extra offers and features and then the info has been given within the video so from there I just like to say you know until next time everybody keep being the awesome and keep having a good one bye Thank you.